sounds for her followers and all that I don't wanna wake anybody up so she sends Noxia and says that Noxia is trying to go to bed hello how is everyone doing tonight or this morning I am so tired today I am so very 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 sleepy could be better I'm awake now, like two hours, and sadly I got a cold in the summer. You've been awake for two hours? You're like, cold? What happened? You plan on playing Diablo 4 on stream or no? No. I don't think Diablo is a game that for me to play because of how much spiders there are in the game. Seems like that's a common enemy, so I don't really want to play the game just for my health. Hi Snipe, how are you? Which is like ironic because I wanted to come by and talk about the Spider-Man movie and future plans for today's like short stream because I can't stream for too long today. I'm really, I'm feeling really sleepy and my stomach hurts. Um, my, 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 um, I also sleep for like an extra hour just like for a little nap and I ended up waking up due to like stomach upset the story that's been uh that's been like a little thing that i've been dealing with today um i think i'm handling it like a champ though because i'm not um i was like i woke up like really anxious and i was like what the heck is this why am i anxious and yeah lo and behold i had stomach problems <laughs> you are the man i don't know it's probably from a buddy since he always comes in sick in school oh no right and i hope that you get so I know. Take sh make sure to take it easy. Don't always stress yourself, okay? Take it easy. Let your body rest. Drink a lot of tea. I am the queen of getting sick. So if you ever need any sick, sickly advice, I am here for you. I wish you a full recovery. Um, yeah. So, so I, I just got the loudest notification that woke you up. Are you serious? What notification woke you up? What the heck? I'm sorry. I hope you can fall asleep fast soon. I hate waking up when I'm not supposed to wake up. So my class teacher called me yesterday just to tell me that I'm the class best, so I chose the book I love. What did you get? Hi, hi all. Hi, John T. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hello, you got to suck these notifications. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your notification box again. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah, I like didn't have time to uh, stream earlier today because you guys knew from yesterday that I was leaving today and I didn't know when I was going to come back and I came back really late into the night so I couldn't stream Legend of Zelda because I needed to take a nap because I wasn't, uh, I was like tired and my health, how my health is, I usually have to like whenever I go out for a long time I need to come home and sleep. So, when I, uh, when I, when I came back home, I went to sleep, and I woke up, and someone from the I was like, oh no, I'm doing my digital art final, Galax, Galax, Tarot, how has the digital art final, it's 
Go and yesterday. Wait, what do you mean during the final of the school and yesterday? What are you talking about? <laughs> how is the final going? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How everyone is having a good day as well. Yeah, I had a really good day today, actually. I went out and it was a very, very, very... So, I am like kind of known for never really going out. I don't really leave my house. But today, I went out to see Spider-Man. And that was really fun. And I went out and hung out with the family for like the entire day. Which is also something that I don't really do too often. So, I got to spend the day with family. Got to watch Spider-Man. I, uh, I don't know. I was like... I was eating by the lake today, which is something that I don't do a lot. I don't do too often, so it was really nice um, getting to eat food by the lake with my family members and just kind of relaxing. It was funny though, because the weather was like, I don't know, the weather was really good, but um, it's a little bit windy, a wee bit windy, so like the, the napkins kept on flying away. <laughs> But I was having a lot of fun today. It was nice. It was really, really nice. Um, hi, Winnie. How are you doing? So, um, what was I saying? So, that was like my day today. I woke up early. I went out for the entire day. Came back late at night. Uh, then went to bed. And it was fun. It was really fun. I don't get to go out often. Um, so it's really nice to actually be able to do me. Fine, how about you? I'm really good. Thank you for asking. What is that? What is that emo? What the fuck? Girl smell? Girl smell? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Ew. Not gonna lie, I don't even remember how fun your channel. Um, probably through a raid? Probably through a raid. Probably through a raid. So that 2099 was giving Miles ASMR that one scene. Okay, I don't even fucking know, like, that the Spider Man movie's name. I just don't know Spider Man. Oh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Okay, well, that makes sense. I knew it had Spider-Verse in it, but I didn't know what it was, like, really called. <laughs> but I am happy to pop in and say hello. Hello, boys, Fox. How are you doing tonight? For me, it was weird. Your raids are so nice. I love and appreciate every single raid. Because, I don't know, it, it means a lot that streamers will stop by and say hi. Chop their community, you know, and sharing the love. I feel like a lot like of ASMR streamers um, is all about... Like, a lot of ASMR streamers is all about like sharing the love and the ASMR community is just amazing. So fucking amazing. So now they are very similar to Corona, which made me laugh and feel more about Corona. <laughs> The monthly emote. I'm very proud of I just on the one. Five months. Oh my gosh. Probably, probably rain. Probably, probably, probably rain. Hi, Miyuki. Let's just chill. Karane, Bobby VTuber, she's a whole life. Oh, I don't. <laughs> don't watch all the lives. Okay. I watch, uh, Andy. Like, like my friends. <laughs> I can't even say that I watch like a lot of VTubers because the only VTubers I really watch is my friend. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of VTubers. Um, I don't really watch a lot of VTubers because I just, I don't know. I watch my friends and that's kind of it. I don't have, I don't really have like a VTuber that I really like. I'm like, but yeah, have a good time working. Take care. Mwah. She's the only one I really watch clips of in the live. She's funny. So are you like a, like a clip connoisseur? You can see all the clips and not really like the streams. Hi, Solar. Hi, Raccoon. Raccoon, how are you doing? I'm not sussy. Stop projecting. She only speaks Japanese. It's really so odd. Do you, do you, like, have interest in learning Japanese? At the, so, like, so I say, ew, no, that's you. And I don't speak Japanese. Honestly, like, 
I I feel I feel so much like I'm not only using like English patches of being corporate. I'm learning German, so German's fun. Rejecting. I know I'm sussy. You stop denying it, but I'm not sussy. I'm literally not. I like VTubers that they kind of fall off. What do you mean they kind of fall off? So I can say Foxy to a show. Show. Thank you. Can you do my redeem? What's your redeem? Oh, my bad. I star. Sumima. Sumima. Sunpai. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our lovely little village. It's nice, nice, nice to have you home. Thank you for the high constraint raccoon. How are you doing, my little raccoon? It's been a minute. How is everything? Has work been kind to you? Has life been kind to you? How are you, my favorite, favorite, favorite raccoon? German isn't fun. You know, I hope, I hope my best friend is actually German. Um, yeah, my bad. My bad on the redeem. Thanks, glad to be here. Glad to have you. <laughs> Thank you, ghost dog, for the 69 biddies. Nice. <laughs> Um, I am dreaming too. We love, we love everyone here. It's a structure of, uh, the sentence wise. Ah, oh, the sentences. Holy shit, ghost dog. Ghost dog, thank you so much for the 431 biddies. Thank you immensely for the bit. It means so much. Do I use some made English? Like, sentence structures? Where, like, everything is kind of like, I don't know. So, Everything to us is backwards, like other languages, while in reality, we're the language that has the structure of sentences backwards, which is really interesting to know. Um, yeah, exactly. Ah, okay, I get what you mean, I get what you mean. Because, um, honestly, like, I didn't really know that was a thing until someone, like, pointed that out to me, and then I was like, holy shit, you're right. Because I grew up by Vivi. Vivi, hello! How are you doing? Can we please, please, please get a shout out for the lovely Vivi Mansi? Hello, Raiders! Hello, Vivi! I hope you're all doing wonderful tonight. My name is Saki Valentine, and I am a Succubus Hitana VTuber. I stream a lot of League of Legends and ASMR, and I'm just a crackhead <laughs> VTuber. It is nice to meet you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <coughs> Vivi, how was your stream? What did you play today? Or if you played anything, what did you do? Everybody, please go give my lovely, lovely, lovely Vivi a follow and some love and support. Well, we didn't fall off, but there are too many graduating. I definitely, like, get what you mean by falling off. I feel like there's, like, a... I don't like the word oversaturation of VTubers because I believe... Gar! Gar, thank you so much, you Resolve! Happy five months! <clears throat> thank you so much for supporting me for five months. Thank you so, so, so much for all the support. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Milliam. <laughs> Someone say crack, crackhead. There's not enough VTubers I need more. So, I feel like I definitely get what, what Niji is saying. Like, I feel like there is a lot of VTuber graduations. Like, if you really think about it, and, like, the whole space of VTubing, there's at least, like, one, gra one graduation a day. If not, there's one big, quote-unquote, graduation, like, every, like, one to three months. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's not VTubing's fault, but VTubing has become such a prominent thing that, uh, it's... It's kind of just like regular streaming nowadays, like, everyone and their mother is gonna have like a VTuber, and that's not bad, that's not bad at all, I think it's wonderful, because I personally see VTubing as a way of showing myself on stream without showing like my actual face, um, not because, hold up, hold up, one moment. Oh 
no, oh no, wrong scene, wrong scene, wrong scene. Not because like um. Not because like I'm insecure or anything, but because like as a female, um, I just don't wanna do my makeup all the time whenever I stream, and I would rather just be an anime girl than anything else. You know what I mean? So I feel like super spike vibe. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, 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 welcome to my lovely little village. <coughs> so my thing is that. I feel like VTubing has just become a very commonplace thing that it's not bad. I feel like it's, I feel like a lot of people, like especially in the VTubing community, like, like berate how many VTubers there are and it's like, oh, VTubing doesn't make you special anymore. You can't just be a VTuber and get popular when it's like, my honest opinion, that's always been a thing. Like. You can't just be, like, I don't know, to me, it's like, you can't just stream League of Legends and become popular playing League of Legends, like, that's not really how it works, you have to have your own personality, you know what I mean? Raccoon, Raccoon, thank you so much for the gifted sub, thank you immensely, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, tremendously for the gift. <laughs> Very long, I stream for around 9 hours to finish Zero Escape for chills. How was that? Uh, last reward, and I took way longer than expected, and I started Tears of the Kingdom as a treat. How, you, how are you liking the beginning of Tears of the Kingdom? No spoilers, and how was Zero Escape? I mean, personally, I'm just too beautiful for people to see. Me? <laughs> Me too. Dude, I am, I'm jealous. I'm jealous I couldn't snipe. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I think I have trains. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you. So yeah, uh, I I get that for sure. Yeah, like I don't understand some people are like, oh, you you just can't be a VTuber and get popular. Like VTubing has like run its course, and it's not really like that. Like you've never been able to be a VTuber and just immediately get popular. You have to have a personality. Like, everything with streaming is having a personality, and I've never really understood the entire sentiment of that. It's a grind, you know what I mean? Thank you for the hydrant. And I feel like a lot of people kind of realize that VTubing can't be a full-time job depending on your circumstances, and... I, I don't know, I've never really understood the entire sentiment of graduating. I understand that sometimes people want to step away from the persona that they've um, accumulated. But for me, I've never really felt that way because VTubing to me, like my model is just a, it's just me. But as a fox girl and a succubus. You know? So I've never really had that entire thing of like imposter syndrome with my own model because my own model is just just me. I want fucking tacos, chat. I'm hungry. <laughs> so this game was pretty good, but it took me like 40 hours to finish. Holy shit. What type of game is that? People are also just like representing themselves differently on the internet. And me is just an evolution of that. Exactly. Yeah. VTubing is a huge, like, rep rep representation of that, and sometimes people don't really know, like, if they really, like, 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 their original character. Some people go into, like, VTubing as, like, corporate, and then wanting to become indie, or corporate, and then just figuring out that they can't really do it due to health reasons, or just scandals, or just not really wanting to do it, and by proxy, indie VTubing has kind of been like that, you get into a scandal, quote-unquote scandal, um, and then you 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 stop because you feel embarrassed etc or you're just like a shitty person which is understandable raccoon 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 thank you so much for the tearing of the subs thank you raccoon for the support thank you thank you thank you thank you i 
have buckles in breakfast. Oh my god. Like breakfast tacos or just tacos, period. As a trans woman, I get looked at weirdly, so VTubing is probably the best idea overall. That's fucked up that people people do that. Especially on Pride Month. Chicken my head. Dude, I feel like, especially for the LGBT community, VTubing is such a fucking beautiful outlet. Um. I think VTubing just helps out so fucking much on portraying who you are inside and what you want to look like and what you want to become. I feel like VTubing opens up such a tremendous opportunity for for everyone and especially like trans people. And I love that. I absolutely love that. A lot of like, a lot of, a lot of things with having like an avatar and creating something to your vision and what you want to be seen as, like, it is great. Like, I fucking wish I was a fox girl in real life. I wish I had pink eyes in real life. I have green eyes in real life, so like, that's fine. <laughs> a lot of like, my VTuber model is like, traces of like, me in real life. Like. I always wear red eye shadow. I have green eyes. And all of that. <coughs> so, yeah. Just be yourself and the right people will accept you. Exactly. Exactly. I wish I was a puppy girl in real life. So fucking cute. Yeah, you know, but I guess I can touch if someone doesn't know me. Like, and I feel like VTubing also just has that um, like beautiful thing of people won't see your face, so it's a lot more easy to have that ambiguity of like real life and shaming you don't have to get as worried as long as you are you know very silent with yourself you know what i mean very silent with yourself in garbage the vehicles in the way raccoon side way raccoon was it breakfast tacos also 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 i got some questions in your asmr video i hope you I am personally wise that I don't have ears in the tail. I I don't really the book cat a lot. It always agitates me. No way you like tacos for breakfast. Oh my god, I'm jealous. I am jelly belly. So thank you so much for the hype train. Thank you a million for all the support. You guys have been so crazy with the support lately, so thank you. Like I I just, I don't know, I love VTubing, and it does suck that a lot of VTubers graduate and move on, but, I don't know. I guess, I guess, that's how everything goes. I understand that. If I'm not chatting with a friend, it's harder to shame a lawyer. So curious to you. Dude, I feel so nervous whenever I shame with people. Or whenever I guess. I like guests um on other people's streams. I feel so fucking nervous because I think I'm a character. <laughs> and we're gonna be like one hundred percent honest. I'm a very big character. I see a lot of things uh that can be looked at really weirdly and a lot of people could be very uncomfortable with the words that I say because I'm a jokester. I love I love fucking joking around and, and saying like bizarre shit. Um because that's just kind of my personality. Uh I I I don't really know how to read the room too well occasionally too. Then Maples, thank you so much for the follower. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Hey Little Village. <laughs> And I'm the type of person that I could just be very, very, like, silent. Very silent, especially if I don't know you. Like, 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 put me in the big collab and I'll just kind of be like, hush, hush. Especially if I don't know anybody. And I'm not comfortable with anybody. So, you do amazing. Thank you. It's just one of those silly things to be with a friend. You just forget about those things. So true. I also say too much weird stuff on streams. Yeah, so it's like... I remember... I remember I made a joke, and it was like, it was like a woman joke, <laughs> and it was really fucking funny, but my friends were like, oh, and I was like, oh shit, is that, is that not okay to say, <laughs> in, in their stream, cause y'all know me, y'all know me, I'll be like, ah, I'm about to go make a sandwich <laughs> type of deal, cause like, I fucking embrace that shit, that shit is funny to me, um, 
So I did that when I like I did that with a friend on stream, and I was like, oh fuck, oh shit, I'm gonna get <laughs> in trouble. They were chill with it. Luckily, they just didn't expect me to say that, and I was like, oh thank God, because <laughs> I feel like because of my voice, it's not normal for for people to expect me to say things like that thank you so much for the hype train by the way thank you 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 so much for all the support thank you so much for all the give the tops Cock. <laughs> thank you Cock, for the power <coughs> welcome i didn't even know you know you could have that as a uh, twitch name Cock. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. Dude, like, sometimes I fear that I'm gonna... I... That hype. So hype. Like, like, I fucking never know if I'll get in trouble. Hi, cuck. That was my favorite little cuck doing. <laughs> Like, bro, I'll say shit like that, and I'll be like, oh, no, maybe my friend will, like, never see me at the same light again. So, I always say by myself. Plus, I feel, I don't know, I feel, <laughs> I feel comfortable just having my own area. For my re-debut, I invited... Like, okay, okay, like, I feel comfortable streaming with my mods and Comfy and Sage. Sage and Comfy are the two people that I feel very relaxed, or, like, more relaxed streaming with. Um. <laughs> I hope someone clipped that. Time for the bottle. No. 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 And then it's, like, my mod, like, okay, Sage, Comfy, and Nova. Because Nova is like, Nova has been my friend before I started streaming, so whenever I hang out with him, I feel very like comfortable and um, safe. Because I know I can say whatever the fuck I want, and he'll be like, yup, it's a typical Tuesday morning with Saki. Danya, our age. Thank you so much for the power. Welcome to our lovely little village. <laughs> I just spend my water up. That's the best part when you catch people off guard and make something awkward with someone self deprecating jokes. I am queen of self deprecating jokes, bro. But, like, I'm gonna, like, literally worry one day that someone's gonna, like, take my daddy issues, like, jokes, like, too far, or, or not too far. Like, I'm either, I'm, I'm scared someone's gonna be like, no, she doesn't have daddy issues, she's just, like, fucking playing the system. Or, 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 she's like, if someone takes it too far and is like, hey, oh, girl, I think you have daddy issues, you know, that's my, that's my stuff. And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello Kitty! Your name is so cute! Thank you so much for the power! Welcome, welcome, welcome to our lovely little village! <laughs> I promise it's not the village in Resident Evil. Or is it? He he he. I'm just like Lady Dimitrescu. I am back. So, welcome back! So, to answer the previous question, VLR is a visual novel puzzle game. Visual novel puzzle game and it's 40 minutes, or it was 40 hours long to complete. Is it kind of like that one game, uh, ca 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 Catherine? Ca Caroline? I don't know. You're lucky, don't let me clip. That is your besties. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I'm not gonna worry about that until it happens. Don't worry, Saki. I have a man before that happens. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Just like Lady D. Me. I'm her. But tiny. <laughs> So you're doing the Lord's work. Thank you, Catherine. Full body. Yes. Is it like that where it's like a flick, like visual novel puzzle type game? Zephyr. Two six one three. Thank you so much, your father. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do I love you a bunch? I am here with a bitch. I am six three. How tall is she? I am five zero. I am small. Small vampire. I bite. You see my things? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna be like, 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 uh, 
I'm going to have to like add the vampires to my, my, my genus. Where is my, my genus? Where is it? My, my exclamation mark genes? I think the thing was. <laughs> Wait, baby Goro. I'm a baby Goro. Holy shit. Dracula, don't bite. He's screaming like. Huh? Yeah, I understand that as a person of color, it makes up race jokes, but it always worries someone might go too far with I said and go full racist. Dude, I feel you. 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 As I, as, you know, honestly, talking about, talking about I was going to talk about um, um race today, actually, because I watched the Spider-Man movie, and I'm going to be 100% honest, like, like, the Spider-Man series is the best representation of a uh, puerto rican family that i've ever seen in media and like um to those of you who don't know i am puerto rican um i am i am i am a small puerto rican lady uh so uh my like seeing like in the spider verse and seeing like like family and like just like the spanish and english like really fucking like struck out to me because i was like holy shit this is like the best puerto rican representation i have seen in media and um you know like lately like a lot of like like i feel like my race has become more in the norm which is shocking because like you know when i was younger there wasn't really much people who know about puerto ricans and whatnot um um so like growing up and seeing like the representation with my culture or like like even like dominicans um it feels really nice seeing us more in media and especially in popular media like if you told me that there would be like a puerto rican superhero i would be like what are you serious that's so fucking cool because i don't really see a lot of like puerto rican stuff like i grew up in a very like heavy like you know puerto rican household puerto rican family you know what i mean um growing up i don't really know a lot of puerto ricans which is like kind of sucks like i just have me and my friends. Hi Hector, how you doing? <laughs> how are you, Hector? Did you watch the Spider-Man movie? How has everything been? Since when are you part raccoon, cousin? <laughs> I don't know really what raccoon got added. No, I haven't. Are you gonna watch it? Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know why. I guess like you know, I, growing up Puerto Rican, I never really understood racism because like being Puerto Rican, you literally have everyone like of every skin tone in your family. So like, I've never really understood the entire sentiment of like being racist. Um, because I don't know. You're Puerto Rican. You're like, oh, the you know, like. There's there's a shade in, in in like of every color in my family. I feel like like Puerto Ricans are just always like super fucking accepting no matter what race you are either. I feel like all Hispanics are like that. You know what I mean? Like like just like like I'm just like talking about like Puerto Ricans, just like Hispanics in general are just very like that. Um. So, it's it's interesting and i'm just very proud to be my race and my ethnicity you know even though we're like a small island i'm very proud to be puerto rican and i'm just so happy to see more puerto rican representation and all of that like i wanted um i wanted i wanted to get like art of me like holding like the puerto rican flag because um because like, i just like i'm really proud of who i am and i'm like growing up i am very happy with who i am and with my race and i think that it's pretty fucking badass to like like to be spanish and like to do like all these things and to have like lived this type of um i guess like not life but like to like experience this um um culture yeah culture 
Dang it, Hector. Are you gonna watch it, Hector? I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, from what I hear, it's good representation on white spectrum Hispanic, African American, African British, South Asian, etc. Yes. Yes, there is a lot of fucking fantastic representation in the entire movie. It's fuck you, Hector. I'm not a cat. Bye, Hector. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, it has amazing fucking representation, and it's just beautiful. I love, I love representation. I love, and I love seeing it in like fucking movies like this. What is your favorite part of the movie? No spoilers. And if, if you haven't watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, tune out. Tune out for like five minutes. Um, just so, just so you don't get spoiled. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what my favorite part of the movie is. I felt like this movie was like very cat lady. Yeah. I feel like this movie was like a very big, um, yes, yes. I feel like this movie was a very, very big build up to the second movie. I, I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Uh, my favorite part was probably, mm, I thought the biting scene was cool. That was like one of my favorite, um, scenes visually and probably like in general because i thought it was just kind of fucked up how how they were like oh yeah he's a vampire by the way uh <clears throat> but it was only brought up like one time and never again maybe in the second movie it'll be brought up more because i like kind of asked my cousin because i was like what, what, what was that all about he was like oh he uh he like like paralyzes people like a spider and i was like oh okay that okay that makes sense to like do more of it um i think my favorite part was just kind of The canon, the entire canon part, the, the, the entire part where they're like, you know, you're not canon type of deal. And he was like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to like, I'm going to like fucking do it for me. Like, like, I like it when the character gets selfish and when like the odds are stacked against them, but they fucking like were like selfish and they're like, no, I'm going to do this for me. Fuck everybody else. I really like that. That's like my favorite part in the biting scene. But I will stay. <laughs> Thank you, Snipe. Original Devils. Casper. Thank you so much, Casper. You're the father. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my lovely little village. <laughs> I warned Pumpkin. I'm so sorry. I gave a fire. I gave a little warning. Hello, how are you doing today, Casper? My well, son made me get off the kid's ass, dude. I thought that was. I like that part too. I thought it was really, really good. You know, I think it's so fucking refreshing seeing like, uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put in chat. Uh, I joined in the wrong time. Damn, I'm so sorry, Bumpkin. I'm so sorry. Be five to ten, ten more minutes, just in case you're tuned out or at Raccoon. Yeah, I was like saying, um, I really liked the entire part where he like unveiled himself and his mom was like. Comic Con? <laughs> I was like, so true. So very true. Thank you, Snipe, for for, for pitting that. Um, I really thought that was, like, really fucking cool. And I, I liked how um, Gwen's father accepted her. I really fucking liked that. Um... I really, really, really thought that was, like, really fucking beautiful. How he realized he fucked up and he quit. And that technically broke a canon event too, right? Because he was supposed to die, but now he's not. I brought it up. I'm doing that. I'm doing well. What about you? Oh my gosh. I hope that I can put a little smile on your face. Make you feel a little bit better. I'm doing good. So where I lived, I love spider plug. I thought, dude, I fucking love how... I, I love how many fucking different types of Spider-Man there are. Because it's like, growing up, you only see Spider-Man as like one dude, and like the Spider-Man, like the Spider-Verse, like shows like an array of Spider-Man or Spider-Woman, and it's so cool. My 
Okay, my my second thing is like, whatever happened to the baby? Um, to the spider woman who had the motorcycle? What happened to her baby? Because she was pregnant. I need answers. I I I uh, I need answers. What what happened to the baby? <laughs> Maybe they'll, they'll, they'll dwell on it in the second movie, but like, my ass is like, question marking really hard, cause she's pregnant in the beginning of the movie, and she's not pregnant in the end of the movie, so, what's that about? Yeah, I know, my fucking Twitter timeline is like, full of like, Miguel O'Hara, and I'm like, he's not my type. But I can see why people like him, I guess, you know? I, he's not my type, but... I don't know, the bite, the bite scene, the having like, what? <laughs> but I'm also just like, I don't know. The movies are pretty cool, so I'm like, ooh, that's dope. I've never liked Twilight though. Don't, don't, don't take that as me liking, uh, vampires. <laughs> it's 1.30 a.m., Boomkin. It's 1.30 for me. I am, I am ending stream soon because I am feeling a little bit sick. I have a little bit of tummy issues. I'm like, uh, and she make some food, uh, type of deal. Probably gonna make some hash browns and heat up a beefaroni, cause a bitch, a bitch is, is living that beefaroni chef boy RD life, okay? Beefaroni is my favorite chef boy RD, and you can't tell me otherwise. Can't tell me otherwise. Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Boy, what's up? Where did I am here? Are you gonna go to bed soon, Vivi? Um, turns out I'm not gonna go anywhere tomorrow. I am gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow. So, uh, I'm probably gonna try to stream Breath of the Wild tomorrow because I didn't get to do that today. So, I'm gonna do my best to do that tomorrow. I'm already in your bed. I hope you have cozy rest. Thank you so much for vibing with me. You sick? <laughs> yeah, I have a little, a little upset stomach. It's not too bad. One second. A little upset stomach. Nothing too, uh, too, 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 too bad. I might also... Uh, I don't know. Shadow's been a bad boy lately. Uh, I might have to buy a cage for him. Or put a cage up on throne. Because he's been doing a lot of things he shouldn't be doing lately. And uh, housing situation has been like a little bit like iffy. So might need to like, 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 cage train him for a little bit because he's a very bad boy and i'm really disappointed in him like uh he's like and like you are safe from spoilers thank you so much raccoon uh you are safe you are safe oh i should probably type that just in case yes uh yeah he's been like a bad boy lately and it's been really hard so I might have to like get a cage for him, which is like the least thing I want to do, uh, cause I, I personally, as a pet owner of a long time, I've owned many pets, uh, caging our dogs hasn't been something that like we do often, and it's not that we're opposed to it or like we look down at people who fucking cage train. I think cage training is an important thing to do, especially like if your dog isn't in shadow right now, cause shadow's just shadow's been making a mess of the entire house, especially when I am sleeping and my mom's at work. He's been making a really big mess of the house, so. Welcome back, voice box. Good night, Niji. Have a sweet, sweet rest. Thank you for hanging out. So yeah, alien, alien. So I might do that, maybe, um, in the near future because Shadow's just been, I don't know. Shadow's been, it's been tough. Shadow, Shadow got really sick. Um, and. And he's been getting better. Luckily, he's been getting really, really better from what he was a month ago. Because remember, like, last month, we had that big scare. And I took, like, a little bit of, like, a, a break. Not, like, a break break. But, like, I was like, guys, I can't stream for too long because my dog 
is sick. Uh, he recovered, and you now he's just being like a little like stinker. He's like being a jackass. He's just like, like, like being like, like I don't know. Did I hear his name? Like, no, but my hamster's name was not like actually. Dark Wolf Hine, thank you so much for the father. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my lovely little village. <laughs> so like, I'm thinking of like getting a big cage for Shadow and trying to like decorate the cage with like, like like a corner for like his food, like a pee pad, and then like like a bed and like a blanket or something, and like maybe like a toy or something, cause thank you, Bunkin, good night, sleep well, take care. Um, what was I saying? Like, I think I'm gonna have to do that in the nearby future just because of how Shadow has been lately, uh, and our situation, so if I do that, I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you guys don't look at me differently. I know some people are very, like, 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 judgmental about, like, putting dogs in crates. I'm not that type of person, but I, we literally, like, can't do that. Like, we have to do that, unfortunately. So, I see you do voice acting. So, that definitely incentivizes me to stick around. Because I like learning about my peers in the field. Yes, yes, I do do voice acting. Mm hmm I do do voice acting. I can't talk too much about what I do, uh, but I do do it. Uh, I love voice acting. I, um, I wanna get more into the field. I, like, I, God bless, I've been built a very lucky hand. Uh, I need to get my, 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 my voice reel, my voice demo reel, uh, done and out there, but it's so fucking expensive to do a voice demo reel, so I was like, I had to pick between getting a VTuber model or a voice demo reel, and currently doing, uh, VTubing brings me in more money, so I was like, I should just, you know, upgrade a Zaptra bolt. Zap trap bolt. <laughs> Thank you so much, enough baller. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your lovely little village. And a kiss for dark. I forgot if I gave you a kiss. <sighs> yeah, sir. As like a person who like VTubes most like for my career, like my career is split between VTubing. So streaming, Patreon, and voice acting. Those are the three things that I do to make income. I'm not really like someone that like hides like that fact. I, um, I, it's like, it is what it is. And I'm happy with what I do. And I love what I do. And I'm proud of it. So, as someone who mainly like, you know, like, like, suffice, suffice, like, suffices off of like VTubing, uh, it was like either I get a voice demo reel, um, which is like a bigger gamble, like, bigger gamble than like a VTuber model. And, uh, I feel like just getting a model was more, it made more sense to me in the long run because it's like I get a nicer model, I feel better about myself, and then I can save up for a voice demo reel later on in. <sighs> ah, my neck, are you okay? Drop. <sighs> yeah, you can, yes, you can definitely use VTubing as a stepping stone. VTubing has been my stepping stone, luckily, and I. I love, I love voice acting. I want to do more of it. I want to commit more into it. Thank you, Cypher the Patreon. You should also get forklift certified. I am. I, I can lift forks all the time, baby. I can lift forks all the time, baby. <laughs> I assume you're really big here toward animation voice acting. Yeah, like, I can do, um, like commercial voice acting, uh, but commercial voice acting and uh, animating animated voice acting is like two different fields. Um, and I think I could do a good job in doing commercial reads and etc. But like at the end of the day, as a voice actor, when you're trying to like live off of it, you just kind of like do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? 
you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, you can't be picky with um the jobs that come up to your um your 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 feet. So it's like if you have to do you know commercial voice acting, you gotta do that. And I think that that's not bad at all. I think commercial voice acting is great. Um, I think it's a big blessing to have because it helps pay the bills. You know what I mean? And it gives you experience. It lets you write it in like um your your uh, resume, if anything. I think it's fucking fantastic. I don't know if there is a prejudice against it. Like I think there's like a prejudice against like like NSFW voice acting as well. And I think that there shouldn't be a prejudiceness to anything like that. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like like people be too judgmental. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hi, Kajad. How are you doing? Good morning. I think so, too. Much love. How are you doing? I watched the Spider-Man movie. Commercial voice acting is actually the most secretive when it comes to black ash. So true. I also dabble in NSF voice acting. Dude, I, there's literally, like, no fucking shame when it comes to the NSFW voice acting. Like... Well, if it gives money, it gives money. But yeah, I, I, uh, I'm planning on doing like my voice reel, like, like, like after. I don't know if like, I know you have to do two different reels when it comes to like commercial voice acting and animated voice acting because um, uh, I love Rina's emotes. Oh my gosh, she makes me so happy. I fucking love Rina. Shug, not sure what I do. I like what I. I'm not sure what I do. Noise, I like your voice. Thank you, Snipe. <sighs> Thank you. I mean, I know I'm just focused. I'm just making stuff to get noticed. So fucking true. You have to do what you gotta do to get noticed. Yeah, you, you have to do what you have to do to get your foot in through the door. And I hope it all goes well for you, voice box. Sometimes there, there uh, is supposed to be a black and blue mark in the area where you pulled the muscle. Yes. But I'm not a doctor. I am a Twitch streamer with a, uh, a degree in healthcare. But don't take me seriously. I am also a dumb bitch VTuber succubus fox girl. So I could say yes and it may not be true. I mean, I'm black and blue. I mean, there is. I mean, like a black and a black and blue. It just it's probably like a black and blue and a pulled muscle. Sounds like a bruise. Yeah, exactly. Put an ice pack on that. Uh, relax that muscle. It's gonna hurt. And it's gonna be sore, and it's gonna take like maybe a week to recover. But keep on icing it. Don't fiddle around with it too much. Do the best you can with it. Yeah. Um. Brrr. I think that there is. I think voice acting is amazing. I think voice acting is fun, and I want to do a lot more with that. I really want to do a lot more with that. And, uh, yeah, I like. I love. I love it. I. Oh, I'll just do my best. I have a lot of passion. You know what I mean? I have a lot of passion for her voice acting and whatnot. And just shaming in general. I Whenever I get into a type of like... Area. I usually tend to get a lot of passion for it. Follow you on Twitter with my page. I'll follow you back. It's always good. It's always good. It's always good. Thank you for the followers. <laughs> It means a lot, so thank you. I give you follow backs. Do do. I'm a little bit. Uh, just shoot me a DM and I'll follow you back. Cause cause I I get a little bit nervous looking at my 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 uh, my, 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 my shit. <laughs> but shoot me a DM. Shoot me a DM and I'll follow back. That is a hot. Does a hot and cold temperature pack work? I don't have any eyes. Better than nothing. your lips or eyes uh uh you want to put it on like you know like like your neck your back your your chest uh your your legs you can use a bag of peas or something that's all yeah so you can be like me 
I don't know if that's good advice. But you can put meat. <laughs> uh, you can definitely do meat. You <laughs> sure will. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, just me and DM and I will follow back because sometimes I get nervous. Thank you, Kajet, for the lurk. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, what was I say? Be careful with meat. You, can, you can't do freeze and it will still, and still eat it after. Yes, exactly. Be careful with meat. My domestic choose me. <laughs> a bag of peas, hold on, let me take my peas. A bag of like anything like fruits, vegetables, uh works really well. Um like my my trick is like, you know, fruits and vegetables for ice. If you don't have a, a hot pack, uh, a bag of rice always works. But that's like the Spanish way. I don't know if anyone if any other race does that where you guys like like don't have like a heat pack. So like what you do is like you grab like a like a like a a fabric and you wrap it up or you just like grab like a like a pillow you wrap it up and you just like put rice in that and you fucking micro mesh it that was how i did it back in the day but thankfully thank, thank to you snipe i have a hot and cold <laughs> i have i have a, a heat pad and i also have a hot and cold uh hot, hot, a, a cold a cold pack so thank you snipe <laughs> I use it. I use it very frequently. So thank you. Thank you so much. So don't put it directly on your skin. Like put a towel between. Yeah, don't be me. <laughs> My bitch ass is like raw. Put that slap that shit on me. Fuck the towel. Fuck paper. Fuck anything. I will slap that shit on me raw. Get that ice cold experience. <laughs> Got the hard ice cold fucking experience. I don't know why you're not why you're not supposed to do it. I just kind of do it because I'm just like fuck it. <laughs> God, thanks. I gotta go rest this. Yes, please go rest yourself, trap. I hope that you recover from your bruise soon. Don't agitate it. Just keep on putting ice on it. I got you. So that's Sheila Melody. Thank you so much for the father. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a lovely little fella. <coughs> welcome on home. I hope you're having a lovely night tonight. Yeah, I used to dress as well. I learned it from my stepmother. How'd she teach you? Oh my, I found you by accident in ASMR. I really love your voice. It's really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you love my voice. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. So you don't get ice burn. What's ice burn? What is that? Hi, Soggy. Hi, Assassin. How are you doing? How's everything? How How's your weekend? You guys have anything uh, fun planned for the weekend, by the way? Or no? Do you guys not have anything fun planned for this weekend? Brrr. You like getting burned, but with ice. I've never had that happen before. I feel like the most obscure illness. I okay, y'all know me. Y'all know I get obscure illnesses all the time. I feel like the most weird illness I ever got was a rash when I was like eight years old. But we don't talk about that rash, cause that was a weird rash. But that rash also uh, made me discover a bubblegum, bubblegum, uh, a bubblegum medication that literally tasted like pure bubblegum i'm not talking like the aftertaste type shit i mean that shit tasted like actual pure bubblegum it was sweet there is no aftertaste and i was like i keep kind of getting addicted to it because i was like medication 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 i would like ask my mom like before it was time for me to take the medication that shit was delicious i i've had it before dude i that that shit was like fucking crack i was like oh my god this is delicious and i hate medication i don't like drinking nyquil or dayquil like i hate i hate medication i hate that medication taste but that bubblegum literally tasted like pure fucking bubblegum i don't know why you don't think that why they don't mean that for adults you know what i mean it's not fair Fucking hell, I don't give a fuck that I'm an adult and I can handle that tish. Give me bubblegum. <laughs> it's 
like, dude, that and the Flintstones vitamins. That and the Flintstones vitamins. I just find it's almost like fast bite. Imagine getting a burn with something really cold. It's like a blister. I see. I guess I've been lucky that like, I haven't gotten it yet. I started training much of the sound. Skin burn damage and extremely cold temperature. Ah. See, like, whenever I keep this stuff on for a long time, my, my skin just gets really cold and rigid and I don't want to touch it for a little bit. I don't think that's ice burn, though. I needed to pull ties. The button was back. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Two kisses, Dad. Thank you. How about before missing the water your skin salts for you? Kind of like fast, but I hate the amends, too. I just hate the fucking medication that tastes like ass, dude. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> like, I haven't had to take a lot of medication before because of, uh, you know, I get sick often. I don't mind taking pills, but syrups, that's what I don't like. The syrups, bro. The syrups. I hate syrups. Give us bubble gum. <laughs> Give us bubble or cotton candy. Cotton candy. The cotton candy is a hit or miss. <sighs> Give me cotton candy or black cherry. I can't do black cherry. Black cherry. It makes me gag. <laughs> makes me gag. You know, your voice reminds me of Ari and the way you sound and talk. I love Ari. I'm an Ari one chick. And I'm not streaming ASMR. I'm playing Ari. <laughs> I absolutely adore Ari. Dude. Those vitamins are the shit. Dude, those vitamins are the shit. It's unfair how we can't eat them. I had these chewy, chewy vitamins. I had these chewy vitamins that are shaped like fruits. Oh yes, <laughs> vitamins that are that that are shaped and taste like fruits are top tier, and you cannot tell me otherwise. It is not fair how children are 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 capable of having these delicious treats. Yeah, because we're adults, we can't. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I really need to start taking vitamin D, like the medicine or the light. Hopefully, I. Because vitamin C is orange. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm going to buy some. I had to take vitamins all the time. I mean, everyone is supposed to take vitamins, but. Because my health issues. Because I don't take Zen like My mom's like, Saki, did you drink your vitamins? <laughs> I yeah, like black cherry, my heart breaks. I just... It's... I like cherries, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love cherries. I love cherries. I love cherries. I eat cherries. Cherries are great. Um, I just don't like fucking like... Like black cherry NyQuil. It's like fucking chugging alcohol. <laughs> I hate it. I guess that's why I hate it. It reminds me of chugging alcohol. Serious honey tastes good. I love honey. But is it okay to mix your medication with honey? Question mark. I didn't play V in a long time. I only sometimes I ran it. I'm a Lux man. I play it very often. No fun chick. In the past, it was for me too. I love League. I'm a League streamer. That's like my, my main game. Black Cherry Dr. Pepper is pretty good. Okay, I only had... I had Dr. Pepper for the first time this year. Is Black Cherry NyQuil ill? I mean, that's like... Whenever I think of Black Cherry, my head just goes to NyQuil. Did I make that shit up? Like, I swear to god. Like, I swear to god. Yeah, I always think the cherry one. Or the beery one. It's really disgusting. I hate NyQuil. <laughs> it's like, it's like, like, I remember this one time. I remember this one time. Oh my god, my birthday. My brother, my brother, my brother, like, fucked up because, like, I had a really bad birthday where I got really, really sick. I had, like, under 24 hour pneumonia so that shit was like, really serious and my brother like uh oh, oh. it was like a really bad time i'm pretty sure my brother regrets what he did to me that day uh but like like oh. it, he didn't do anything like bad but like it was pretty bad i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna like, lie it was really really bad what he did to me that day uh he was like i had like under 24 hour developed pneumonia and i was like really drugged on medication so <laughs> 
my brother took me out. <laughs> well, to make a long story short, my brother was like, Hey, Saki, we're gonna go out to Target. I couldn't walk. <laughs> So I was like leaning on my mom the entire time as when we were at Target and like we came back home and he noticed I was like really like upset and angry and he was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the store and you're gonna come to with me. Or no, he, was, he wasn't like that. He was like, I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna buy you some medication. Uh, I know you're already on these current medication, but NyQuil will help you get to bed. Uh, so I'm gonna buy you some NyQuil and any any sweets you want and and uh, chips you want, I will get you. And I was like, you have recovered yourself in my eyes today. <laughs> you have recovered yourself in my eyes today. <laughs> Because like I feel like if if you take me out when I'm dangerously sick and you, you buy me ice cream and chips and medication after I will forgive you for your sins. <laughs> the friend that convinced me to play League of Legends and brand one trick. I also have a vendetta against Brand. Do you have a vendetta against your friend? Nickel always tastes like asshole, exactly. I love Link too, just don't have much time to play and focus on other things. Yeah, League of Legends is a big time commitment, so I totally fucking understand you. And self growth is way more important than playing any video game and doing anything. <sighs> play more later when you can, you're done with everything. Exactly, League will always be here. Self growth and doing what you want takes a big priority over every video game. Why did they do that? Why did they even think that was a good idea when taking over your sick? So, what had happened was that it was like my birthday, and he was like, I told my girlfriend we were going out for dinner. Um, so are we gonna go out for dinner? I know, I remember, I remember the fucking time because I was like really inebriated, right? I was on six different types of medication i was on uh like because it was under 24 hour pneumonia um and my doc i went to like a like a like a walking clinic and they were like all right we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tackle this so they prescribed me like at least six different types of medication i had like an, an asthma not an asthma pump but i had like a pump uh because my lungs were getting filled um and i had to take like a lot of like like antibiotics and medication so, um, uh, when he came in, when he came back home, I was, like, in bed with a towel over my head in the dark, like, literally fucking zoinked up. My, you, your girl was, like, in a fucking another plane dimension. I, like, couldn't even, like, count. I was so fucking zoinked. And I couldn't really talk either because, you know, it's under 24-hour pneumonia. Uh, I was, like my voice was completely shot if i talked i coughed really badly so i just had to like be like in a fucking like like chamber <laughs> and he was like i told my girlfriend that we were gonna go out for dinner so you know chop chop wake up and i was like what the fuck do you mean <laughs> i think over dramatic for the funniness and he was like are we going or not and i was like we'll go <laughs> we'll go and then I went, and like that was fine. But what what ate the cake was that he was like, "We're gonna go to Target because my girlfriend needs to get stuff," and I could not walk. I could barely open my eyes, and I had to like literally like lean on my mother for support, or else I would have fallen. Like, it was very, very bad. And because I... Jaden, 9788, thank you so much for the baller. Welcome, welcome, welcome to I Love You Little Village. <clears throat> and when I, like, came home, I didn't take the medication because uh, he was like, don't take your medication. I'm going to go buy medical for you because obviously we don't want to mix medications already than what I'm already doing. So he's like, don't take any medication. I'm going to give you NyQuil so you can like sleep with that. And I'm going to buy you anything you want from the convenience store. And I was like, you have redeemed yourself tonight. <laughs> you have redeemed yourself. I can forgive you. And like when I got COVID, he was very good with me when I got COVID. So like he, he, he knew he did bad. And you know, I don't want grudges, but it was just like a funny story. I think it's a funny story. I uh, am. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy because that, that like 24 hour pneumonia lasted with me like for like a month to two months. So I 
Oh, uh, I just started high school during that time um, because I was homeschooled for three years of my high school um, life. So uh, when I started high school, I went to an academy and this academy, uh, when I got my pneumonia, school literally had just started and I had to bail on them for a month to two months and they were like they called me in and they were like why haven't you been coming or not even that they called my mother like like every couple of days and we called them saying like and we showed them like 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 um slips like hey saki can't go to school she is literally bedridden she is super fucking sick please like she can't do this so they, they they call up my mother um the vice principal who i sort of got head of vendetta against me and he was like why hasn't saki come to school what's fucking wrong and my mom was like we literally have been keeping you guys updated she can't go to school you want me to fucking drive her ass to you guys so you can see how sick she is and he's like if she doesn't come to school she's expelled and I'm like, well, I guess I gotta fucking go. So I go to school and everyone, all my teachers are like, why are you here, child? You look dead. And I open my mouth to speak and I sound like a fucking dying horse. And they're like, and they're, and they're like, I have, I'm like, the vice principal wants me, wants me, wants to see me. And I go to the vice principal. I open my mouth. I cough. I sound like a dead horse. And he's like, go home. <laughs> You're, you're, you're excused for like an entire month. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and it was like, it was hard too, because like during this time, it was my senior year. And I, um, I was also like, I was also in college. No, I'm not, I was not taking college courses. I was in college and high school at the same time. So it was really tough for me. Saki and the Chamber of Secrets. Honestly, so true. My brother stories, these are my favorites. Okay. So when I got COVID, Two years ago, Mr. Mr. Snipe remembers when I got COVID. My brother was actually really good with me when I got COVID. He blamed himself for COVID, which really sucked. <laughs> it wasn't his fault that I got COVID, but he was really good with me with COVID. He would like check in and text me and all that. Religiously, when I got COVID, he would like be like, you know, if you need anything, hit me up. I, I'll get you like ice cream or food or medication. Um, and he was like very like proactive with me in COVID because I'm high risk with COVID. Um, if you don't know me, I'm a very high risk um, individual. And we found that out when I got COVID. So he was really nice. Um, I only got COVID once and it was, oh, can you re-say really that please? Because it didn't appear in chat for some reason. And I'd like to see what you said. Uh, so he was really nice. When he got COVID actually, he leaned on me for a lot of the things. Like he would like text me and call me and we would just talk and I would like listen to him vent about, uh, COVID because he also is high risk because he has asthma. So, um, he was like there with me. And I was there for him, so we just kind of like had like, excuse me, sibling like bonding time. A lot of sibling bonding time. Um, COVID was really hard for me. <gasps> Sorry, favorites. Yeah, it's really funny. Unfortunately, that was, it was during your birthday. You know, it was during my birthday. I was so fucked up. <laughs> they did the same for me when I had COVID. I did what? Horse. You sound like a dead horse. Okay, here's the reason. I only got COVID once. It was earlier this year. But it was only it was only because of the nursing facility I had. It was an outbreak. Oh my god. I hope that COVID wasn't too bad for you. And I hope you had your shots. I got COVID almost a year ago. I'm also high risk, I guess. Really, Raccoon? I hope you don't get it. I hope you all don't get it. Like, as someone who literally is high risk for COVID, uh... And I had two of the shots. Like, Snipe could tell you guys, like, I had COVID bad. I had COVID very, very bad. I tried to not, like, really talk about it too badly on stream. Um, about how badly it affected me. Um, but it was, like, really bad. And I had two shots, chat. I had two shots. Um, and, like, I literally, like, almost perished from COVID. But, like, I didn't tell anyone at the time. Like, my mom knew I had it really bad too. They already had it. 
like my mods knew I was really bad and it was like a big thing because it's like I couldn't stream for like a month and if I don't stream for like a week that's already a red flag that something's wrong you know what I mean if I don't stream for a week I'm either in vacation which doesn't fucking happen because even when I go on vacation I stream or something really bad happened so it was like I like didn't stream for a fucking month um and I was like touched 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 I had a major spider surgery last fall. Oh, I, I hope that you fully recovered from that voice box. I hope that you're doing well. I was in the hospital during my birthday, so I know how you feel. Oh my god, I go to the hospital so much fucking times during my birthday. Like, okay, I think... If I remember correctly, my 21st birthday, I spent in the hospital. And my 18th birthday, I also spent uh, sick. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that story was my... That was not my 18th birthday. I think it was my 17th. I know I spent my 18th birthday. Super fucking sick too. Vacation, Bokohol. Yeah. I might go on vacation for my birthday. I don't know though. We'll see. Because I like spending my birthday with you guys. So, I don't know. We will see. We will see. I definitely will be streaming on my birthday though. So, if I go on my vacation on my birthday, I will be streaming. We will celebrate. We will do the celebrations. Lyon, right back. Thank you so much, little father. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my lovely little million. Mm -hmm. Shots are supposed to lower the symptoms so that when you get it, you affect it, you, it would affect you less. It doesn't prevent anyone from getting sick, sadly. Yeah, they are supposed to do that. And, like, the, 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 the shot saved my life. The shots 100% saved my life. I can, like, 100% say that if I didn't get those shots, I would not be here. But, regardless, when I got COVID, it struck me like a train. I never, f like, I was bedridden. I had to go to the hospital. Um, I, like, there is, like a, like, a point in my COVID experience where I couldn't leave my bed. I couldn't even like raise my head. My my mother had to feed me in bed. She had to like help me like walk around. Um, it was really bad, and that was like two shots. So it was terrible. I remember I had like everything. It was really bad. Thank you for the fifty pennies. Thank you so much. I'm actually not fully recovered still, but I've been home for a couple months now. When do you fully recover? I wish you were very very full recovery soon. I hope that everything went well and that you won't need surgery in the future. I wish you, I wish you well. I had COVID really badly too. Then I had long COVID. Waited around a year to burn it to go to Holy shit! It didn't. It took a, I had to put myself to resolve it. It took a few months. I'm here. How did you resolve it? God, I hear horror stories. <laughs> Of how COVID's like the cough singing with you, or like the lack of scent, like smell or taste. When's your birthday? August 1st. I'm August, baby. So you know how to resolve it too. Wait, I'm own. We used to act by a smooth camera, not only. Saki, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Saki? <laughs> you guys are so fucking cute. I appreciate that. My nerves are supposed to be fully recovered in another year. Well, I'm wishing the best for you. You know, take it easy. I hope nothing but the best. You cute. No, you. I said no cord was com compressed. My ability to walk was severely affected. I hope that you're walking better now. Or... So you have custom weird dreams and woke up every 10 minutes when you couldn't get out of bed? No. I, like... I was going through fevers that made me not remember a lot. Um, I had fevers that made me say a lot of things that I didn't mean to say. I was very emotional. I didn't say anything bad. I was like, I was like, Myth can tell you. Is Myth here? Fucking hell. Myth, get in stream. Myth can tell you. Myth, myth, myth can tell you. Because I was in call with Myth and Bubba and <laughs> are you here? <laughs> And, and Myth, um, I was like, I was like, I would be in, like, in bed. Myth, 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 Myth. 
remember remember when when i had covid and i would like be in calls late at night with you and bubba and i would say like a lot of things like a lot of like emotional things of how like you guys are like my family and how i love you guys and and i would like yeah remember that that was crazy right yeah, so, like, I would have, like, a lot of, like, fee like, a lot of, like, hardcore fever shit to the point that I was, like, saying, like, a lot of delirious things with, like, Myth and Papa. They were really concerned about me. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you guys, like, were genuinely super fucking concerned about me, right, Myth? Because I was acting really fucking weird because of, like, my fevers. And I would, like, start crying because, like, like it was, like, on and off all the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank you for being there for me, Meth. You and Baba were, were are there like my fucking lowest times. I was struggling. Shoot girl was struggling. <sighs> See, I didn't have the weird dreams, but I had like I had like um I had an itchy I had, I had a, a lot like I had almost all the symptoms. I would say I had all of these symptoms, but loss of taste and smell another funny brother story so after i recovered uh i would reach out soon but i need to tell you guys this because it's a brother story and you guys like my brother stories so when i recovered from covid um it took me 28 to 30 days to recover from covid um my brother got his covid shots and he texted me he was like holy shit saki i just got my booster shots i am in pain everywhere and i i literally sent him la 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 you're in pain question mark your booster shots hurt you you little baby and he was like you fucking suck you're shit he was so he was like he was like fuck you I was like, you want, you, you, you fucking, you're in pain? Huh? Huh? Wow. Tell me more. <laughs> I was being a complete little, like, petty bitch. And he was like, you're such a little piece of shit. <laughs> that was a very, very funny, very, very funny time with him and I. <laughs> my birthday is September 26th. <gasps> Your birthday is the month after my birthday. Let's go. I figured out how long COVID work. They say producing music is not feeling it very slowly, but in reality, I'm mucus remaining in your lungs. I'll be sure to pop my favorite birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You've been hit by a, you've been hit by you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Good morning, Killian. How are you doing, darling? How are you doing, darling? I'm sure you're stuck with just criminals. <sighs> the apple in my eyes. Oh god, the fevers are terrible. I had the fevers for two weeks. <laughs> I ran my bed and slept so much. In my case, I needed to make a syrup with honey. I took them for a few months and don't stop. It was on two months. I got ultra sick and they do it again. Since it took me for four months, it was me because I was very really lucky where when my COVID ended, it stopped. I had a little cough, but it wasn't too bad. I just drank a lot of cough syrups. So possibly I got sick today resolving it. I got really bad almost choked. Oh my god, I'm happy that you survived. I'm happy you're fine. Do you have any long-lasting symptoms? No. But my headaches don't feel the same. My, it, it's gonna sound really weird, but my headaches feel very sweet after COVID. Um, I don't know how to really explain it, but it feels like, like a sweet, sweet, sweet headache. And all of my headaches feel like that. They kind of have been unwinding and lowering down from their sweetness levels. But yeah, it was weird. Saki pain damage confirmed. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> honey is a must. Honey is my favorite thing. I need to get more honey. How funny. Sorry about meeting Luby after my spine surgery. Oh my god. My family does not want me to get surgery. I had surgery once, and my mom literally says, like, the devil takes over me whenever I have surgery. She is like, she, she literally, like, 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 I had surgery one time in my life, and my mom is like, you are never getting surgery again. 
We are going to do everything to prevent you from ever getting surgery because you are a bitch to handle. She literally said that to me. She was like, putting capital B and everything. I was like, what the Couple B. Thank you so much for the follower. Couple seven. Thank you so much for the follower. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our little village. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was like, you, Saki? Or no. Because when I... <laughs> I had to get my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, this might be a, a repetitive thing to hear from Snipe, but I had to get my, my wisdom teeth taken out. Uh, and I had a supernumerary tooth. Supernumerary tooth, if you, not do, if you do not know what that is, that is when you are growing extra teeth. Now, you know where your nose is? Move, you, put your finger on the middle of your nose. Like, not like the middle of like the top part, the lower part. Where it's like, um, where it's like, you know, where you have like thin and then it's thick and it's like squishy. There. Alright. Put, put, put your, put your finger there. On the middle. And move your finger to the right. Where your cheek is. You see how you have your cheek right there? I had a tooth growing in there. Yeah. So they had to do sur- like a, a, a surgical procedure to remove the growing teeth <laughs> in my cheek. <laughs> um, and when I woke up, my I was a bitch. I was like, I can walk by myself. Get off. My this is like when I wasn't cursing. So I was like, my mom tried like walking me to the car, and I was like, get the. F- Fuck off of me. I don't need your help. And she was like, What is wrong with you? And I went into the car and I was like, Grr, 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 grr. And we went to go get my medicine from the pharmacy. And I was like, I'm gonna go get it by myself. I don't need fucking help. Damn it. And she was like, Saki. <laughs> And we got home, and she would, like, she would, like, feed me mashed potatoes, and I'd be, like, glaring at her, and I'd be like, no. I don't want mashed potatoes. I want Sonics. I want popcorn chicken. Do not feed me this. And, and she, she was like... (laughs) She was like, Saki, <laughs> no, Saki, stop. <laughs> she was like, Saki, if you get your act together, I'll get you Sonics in two days. And I was like, you promise? And she's like, stop, yes, you just stop it. And, she, and I was like, I suppose I can be more nice. <laughs> For real, unlocked my fucking, um, my fucking villain era. So that's why my mom doesn't ever want me to get surgery again. She just does not want me. She does not want to deal with it. (laughs) She does not want me to deal with it. Yeah, fuck a diablo. That's rough. (laughs) Heading to bed, been awake since 7am. Good night, Snipe. Sleep well. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I hope you get good, good. Take care, take it easy. <coughs> Much love. After my surgery, and there's so many had to get up for a walk. Yeah, literally, less than an hour after. Time to see you walk, okay? She's like, so tiny. I'm 16. She's like, five all. I jokingly told her by fall. She's going with me. I mean, you told her the truth. You told her the truth. <laughs> you literally told her the truth. And then they finally saw it too. I'm like, hey, mom, so she's done that. No, I'm not I was like, literally woke up and chose violence. Literally, I woke up and I was like, girl. So, like, I want you guys to imagine me, just five foot me, just pounding with my cheeks looking like chipmunk cheeks. And I'm just, like, glaring at everything and everyone and thinking I am the most independent being. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, surgery, Saki, very interesting time to be around. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stream when I have surgery, though, chat. So don't expect a stream from me. Fortune with... Uh, but then these, these, 
Thank you so much, little father. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our lovely little village. Mm. Users MC, thank you so much, little father. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm. Suki. Suki. Suki, 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 and Suki readers. How are you all doing? How's your stream? What are you doing today? Hello, my love. Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? Everybody, please, 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 please go give a follow to the one, the only beautiful fox, Suki. Please go give Suki some love, some support, some help. Let's give Suki everything you can. Hello, Raiders. Hi, Disappointment. Hi. Hi, Suki. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Asaki Valentine. I am a Succubus Kitsuna VTuber who streams a lot of League of Legends and ASMR and a lot of crazy things occasionally. It's so nice to meet you all. I was finally did a lot. I did League, Valorant, Demontologist, Thasophobia. Wait, are we friends on League of Legends? Are we friends? 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 Would you like to be friends? Useless. 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 Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much for supporting me. I hope you enjoy your cute little badge. I hope that you enjoy the emotes. Thank you immensely. Thank you for the support. And thank you, Suki, for the raid. Thank you for choosing to stop by my stream. Another box to add the collection. Yes. Suki's amazing. Oh my god, oh my god. Suki, 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 Suki. Damn me on Twitter. <laughs> Daily on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, also, because you subbed, I don't know if you want to have the emotes all the time, but here is a Discord if you want the emotes all the time. I was, I was gonna end stream, but I'll stay a couple more minutes. Um, cause I'm, I'm starving. I am, I am, I am a very hungry fox. I haven't eaten much. But I'll say bye, cause I wanna say... Oh. My. Gore. Mitsuru? Mitsuru? Mitsu? Long time no see, Mitsu? How's my favorite red panda doing? Please, as well as following me, or um, Suki, please go give a follow to my sibling Mitsu. Mitsuru is a red panda VTuber with a fucking gorgeous design. Please go give my, my VTuber sibling some love and support. Mitsu is a warm bundle of wholesomeness and comfiness. Please, please go give Mitsu some love and support as well as Suki. They both deserve it. Hungry Fox wants pumpkin chicken. You're not wrong. I do want pumpkin chicken. <laughs> Good night, my love. Good night. And a kiss for you, sis. And all the followers. Good night. Sleep well. Have very sweet dreams. Uh, what? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Wait, am I reading? Am I? Am I? Am I reading the riot? You, 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 you useless. What? What? Wait, wait, are you lying to me? Wait, is this like a prank? What? Wait, are you, are you pranking me? Thank you. What? You, you, you so I don't know what to say. Oh my god! I, 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 thank you! Th thank you so much for the 50 
your generosity and kindness for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Please let me know what you would like. I, it would be my absolute joy to give you a trigger of your delight. Um, if you would like one, that is. If you don't, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Rina, let me give you a shout out, darling. Rina, how are you doing? Oh my god. Yeah, hello, 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 and thank you so much for the follower. Mm -hmm. And if the kisses now, which is gonna be very exciting. I love kisses. <laughs> thank you. She lives there on the love. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna make fun. Thank you. I'm gonna be sleepy. Are you gonna get some rest soon, Harina? Are you back home, by the way? Saki is here, so the love and so fair for everyone. Guys! I'm just a girl. Don't, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a girl. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mitsum. Thank you so much, everyone. Nero Cherry. Nero Cherry, thank you so much for the follower. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my lovely little village. Mm -hmm. Welcome home. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm sorry I didn't respond by the way, Rina. I'm going to. I just uh, got very busy. Um, Because I went out with my cousin today and my family. It was fun. <laughs> thank you. Honestly, sincerely, everybody. Thank you. For all the support. 
Ducks not knows. Thank you so much for the followers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to I love you, Williams. If you all, if anyone wants to join the Discord to have access to the emotes 24/7, even when they're not on play, it's use their Discord. Discord's cute and fun if you want to join. As you said before, you're a thirsty dumb bitch. I'm not thirsty. I'm just a dumb bitch fox. That's all I am. A dumb bitch fox. It's the weekend. You guys have anything you're gonna do for the weekend? Saki, you have a very beautiful model. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very beautiful, majestic, and lovely. I want the tails too. You're such a magnificent and magical model. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that you love my model so much. I, I love my tail. My tail is so bouncy, so cute, so everything, so fua fua. <laughs> Sleep. You deserve to get some rest, Rina. Plus, it's the weekend, so sleep in as much as you like. You get help me out. I had a lot of fun, honestly. I don't really hang out a lot with my family. Um, and I got to hang out with, like, the entirety of my family, which doesn't happen too much. So, I had a lot of fun. I saw Spider-Man with my cousin. Then we got to go, I got to go hang out with my other cousins and my aunts and uncle, which is really great. I watched my uncle and my cousin play basketball. And I was, like, kind of like the referee, so I was, like, keeping track of everything. It was really nice. It was really different. And I think I needed it. I needed the fresh air. Then we all went on like a little like picnic together. So my cousins and I like went to a lake and had some food and just kind of like talked about life. It was really great. <laughs> Thank you for the high update. <laughs> you don't know good that you were thirsty. Depending on the day. <laughs> Thank you for the high and <laughs> Don't think I forgot about the 50 kisses. Gonna shoot some more tomorrow now that I finally debuted the new model today. Congratulations on the new model, baby. Me too, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. But I will watch the VOD. I will watch the VOD. I literally was not home all day long today, sir. But Congratulations on the new debut. I hope you love your model. I need to watch the re debut. Dono <laughs> Van, thank you so much for the follower. Welcome, 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 welcome. So I love you, little Billy. And we got an ASMR ice globe. Let me know if you like the tabs or you like the water. <sighs> Sleep. I'm gonna go to bed at grandma hours. Wait, what time is grandma hours? Is that like eight? Going on the weekend hike? Are you gonna be staying like camping too or just hiking? I love hiking. I love being sent out by the model to mean what? Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, how are you? Glad that you got to hang out with the fam, Saki. Thank you. I am like so shy in real life that like my family knows I'm a very shy girl and that's why I don't really like go out or hang out too often but whenever I do they, they do their best to make it fun for me and you know they're really nice to me and then helps out a lot with me wanting to be with them more water what is that yes You are too expensive to break, please. <laughs> I am a fucking... I am a fucking squirrel. <laughs> darling. <laughs> Hiya, darling. You think you're shy? I am shy. Listen, don't, don't let me being a shamer deceive you. I am a very shy girl. <laughs> I'm a very, very shy girl. Just on your Discord, Saki. Welcome to the Discord. I hope you enjoy the Discord. The mods worked so hard getting it together. If you have any questions, feel free to submit a ticket. Just make sure to read the rules and click the little emoji so you have full access to the Discord server. Don't defile the microphone. I can't defile the microphone. I can't do it. 
Is it this thingy? Yes. Can you hear it? The water? Is it audible? <gasps> the microphone has been defiled. I won't. You know what? It's alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Boys box. <laughs> Smack the shit out of my dirty. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, user. What am I as smart as vehicle? I did not. I've only used it once. Mona as smart, and that was for, um. That was for, for, for Bino. Because I was like, I've got these ice globes, and I want to use them. And Bino, you promised me that I could use anything for ASMR. <gasps> I am so excited for you guys to hear the ASMR um roleplay for this month for Patreon. Very exciting. Uh, very calming. I'm like I'm so happy on this. I wonder if there's insurance that can cover Saki mannerisms. <laughs> Listen. You're gonna need like fucking life support with me. <laughs> Without I roll. Okay, I guess you used something else and set the break gloves. Oh, I guess I did use gloves then. I forgot. I forgot. I, um. Mail's rough. <laughs> I love the way your voice sounds too. Thank you. I have been blessed with a very um dynamic voice. Very dynamic voice. So thank you. She for gore. She for gore. She got that goldfish as memory. <laughs> Don't be bold, she can blow your ear to myself. <laughs> Cunning box, that's a me. That's a me. <laughs> Leave my poor ear to the bone. You don't want the kisses? Hmm? But I promise one sub equals one kiss. And there's 50 subs, so I'm gonna do that. I don't even know how many. I, th I think we probably hit 50, but fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck up. Kisses, you make you me. I'm dumb, but you okay, Ryan? <laughs> Is everything alright? Also, why do you have a, uh, a beach? Oh, Tachikon 22, San Diego. I like the kisses, just don't blow them out. Thankfully, the cute ones and not the sloppy wet ones. I could do both, I think. Can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've never been to a touch con before. Try? You'd like to see me try, wouldn't you, bitch? <laughs> wouldn't you, bitch? The Miss, miss trying to. Wait, wait. Fuck. When Arena hits me with that emo, I'm just like, yes, my queen, I will do it. <laughs> yes, yes, my queen, I will do it. Mm, I will, I will do it. Um, Arena! <laughs> 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 
I can't deny Rina. Are you party? <laughs> Can't deny Rina. I'll be coming to the con one day. That would be so fucking cool, Ryan. A Bobo we'd meet up. Bobo we'd meet up. Sorry, but I get a little uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I'm bad for this. Don't, 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 don't worry. It's okay. Mm. You also have beautiful horns. Thank you. I am all ears just for you, Rina. I'll do anything you ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm so down if you're down. I'm so down if you're down. I'm so down if you're down. I'm just down to collab with you in general. I'm a little bit shy and nervous, but I love to. Mira? No. Camera, what are you gonna look at? <laughs> Where I put my money for this collab? Nowhere, cause it's free of charge. <laughs> cause I just want to hang out with Arena. Mm. Mira, con que? Pull shy wins. Arena, if I'm correct, you're learning Spanish, right? I think I feel like I feel like I read that in your about section. I know for sure Japanese. See, uh, how, 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 um, how much Spanish do you know? Nice cool hair. Thank you. <laughs> Go lurk now. Love you a lot, Saki. Have a good stream. Much love, Ryan. Have a fun time lurking. I'm fucking starving, Jeb. <laughs> I'm Latino, so if anyone needs help with Spanish, I got you. I'm Latina. Wait, what, 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 what the, what ethnicity? I think is the right word. I don't know if it's, like, race or ethnicity Pero si Mi esa no es muy No, don't say that Don't say that, listen, you get the end right And a lot of people don't get the end right Hondu Oh my god, my best friend is literally from Honduras <laughs> My best friend Eddie is literally from Honduras That's so fucking cool I'm Puerto Rican <laughs> I just opened up the cam cam time capsule. I just opened this. To oh wait, you didn't say time capsule. What the fuck? <laughs> time capsule is a nautica and it's and Mira. I almost speak that. I like. What if I was saying, uh, saying Mira and me saying this is Mira. Like Mira, Mira. Like 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 look. Or like like a name Mira. My parents are from Honduras. Really? Taco, taco. I love tacos. I want to learn seriously. Spanish is such a beautiful language. Where are you going to Yes. <laughs> yes. Pariqua. Yo soy. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking... I am Puerto Rican. Um, so, Spanish is my first language. Uh... English is my second language, so I'm originally from New York. I love New York. I got very, very fond memories of New York. Very, very, very fond memories of New York. Um, I won't say it just because there are specific spots I like to go in New York whenever I go visit New York. A lot of there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I really love New York. New York just have a, has a little bit of everything. So, like, have you ever been to Japan? Um, nope. Never, never left my country. That's a lie. I have left my country. <laughs> I have, but I, I, I haven't left. I guess like my hemisphere of the world. Haven't been to New York in ages. God. I can't speak. <laughs> I love New York though. I have a lot of fun memories in New York. Um, there's a lot of places that I love in New York. Um, um, I can't say because I don't want to dox anything. So, I just won't say. <laughs> this is a bucket. Is that the of water? I love the food variety. Oh my god. Whenever I go to uh, New York, I go. Uh, I can't say. <laughs> 
can say fuck. I don't know. I just love New York. I don't want to go too much into the notes about it. Because, um, what if, like, I don't know, like, only one thing. <laughs> and I told chat, and then, and then chat is like, so this is the location. <laughs> Like, I love I love New York. I love the areas. I have so many fond memories of New York because I have so many friends in New York. Um, so yeah, I I just love it, and it's just so nice being in an area where there's so many people that are like so similar to you and so open. And I don't know, I like seeing the animals too. People always complain about the pigeons. I like the pigeons. <laughs> I remember, I remember I saw a pigeon one time in the subway and I was like, oh my god, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I'm a big animal person, so I'll never see an animal. I'm like, yes. It's like that you see something. Please use the system. Tail is so magnificent. Yes, I brush my tail all the time. It is a very big important tour. And you don't end up being rain bolted like a guy who. Uh, try to get, keep a bagel. <laughs> what? <gasps> I don't miss working in New York though. Just visiting. God, dude. Dude. I've never worked in New York. I like pray for everyone because my ass like I drive I don't like driving in New York I don't think I can drive in New York I can if I have to you know what I mean like I, like, I can if I have to but like I just prefer to not drive um so like whenever I'm in the subways oh my god <laughs> my fucking anxiety peaks in the subways nothing happens in the subways but like I'm just always like you see a lot of interesting things in the subways that's for sure I remember, I remember I saw, um, I saw this guy, and he was doing illegal activities, let's say. I won't divulge in the illegal activities, but it was like, 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 it was like illegal, but it was like his illegal, or not his illegal, it was like, it was like illegal, but it wasn't hurting anyone. It wasn't offending anyone. It was just like, damn, for real? And I was like with my friends, and I was like, I was like, I was like, 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 like hiding behind them, and I was like, is is that normal? Do people do that? And they're like, yeah, you see that, you see that a lot, but they're it's fine, it's whatever, just just don't pay attention to it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Driving in New York seems awful. It's fucking terrible. It's fucking terrible. I could tell you this. <laughs> I'll drive there before New Jersey. New Jersey's not that bad. New Jersey's not that bad. My rage for New Jersey also is gross. <laughs> oh my oh yeah, it's only rainbows. Apparently some deal guesser god. And some TikToker tried gatekeeping a bagel, so Rainbow's Penny, and said he spent dozens of hours trying to find the bagel place and then made a video about it. Is he a YouTuber? And then he got the shop to name the bagel after him. What? I didn't see this. So I can just tell you in circles and riddles right now. So the night time a TikToker orders, he has to ask for that guy's name. Rainbow is such a fucking legend, pretend to not see. Jersey is gross as fuck. It's like you've never seen Rainbow? No? I'm sorry? Can I get commit a sin? I'm scared if I click this, it's gonna start saying a video. Oh my god, it's fucking 13 hours ago. He found a bagel shop location on a video. This girl made him TikTok famous. <laughs> Wait, this is like literally recent? Oh my god. Is that a movie? It's a, it's a YouTuber, Rina. Okay, okay. I will watch this as I eat. But I am 
starving. I will watch the clips. I will watch the clips, but I am starving, chat, and I am a little bit sick, so I am gonna go and make some food. I hope that is okay. I hope that is okay. I hope that's fine. Is that okay, guys? Is there fucking gold? I will watch them. I will go and watch. I promise. Alright, I... <gasps> Mama Pam is streaming. I'm in Pong. I'm in Mama. Jay, you're the best, dude. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Oh my gosh. You know who we're gonna say hi to? We're gonna say hi to Christina again. Because I love Christina. We're gonna say hi to Christina. Because I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by and being with me. Thank you, Rina. I hope you got well as well. Thank you for the stream, Saki. Thank you so much for stopping by, Melody. It was so much on talking. What are you gonna eat? Beefaroni. Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Out of that broke life. What can I say? Plus, Chef Boyardee is a solid. How can you know this, Chef Boyardee? If you would like to follow me on Twitter or Discord, um, here is my Discord. Here's my Twitter. And here's my Patreon. Um... I am gonna go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I really love your voice again before you go. <laughs> Thank you. I hope to see you more than Melody. I hope you like my voice outside of ASMR. Not that it's that different. I'm just loud. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican, so, you know, it's in my blood to be loud. <laughs> It was funny, actually. Short story. My family actually thought I was deaf or I had hearing problems because of how loud I am. And then they did so many, like, like, like hearing tests on me. And each one came out perfect. And my family, we just told I'm naturally loud. So, like, they, like, tried teaching me to become quieter. But I, I can't do it. <laughs> Anyone else on Rada Bilber just, just said nice. Just so it showed up on Geo Gasser. That's so troll. Thanks, Geo. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you too. Nice meeting you. 